Alright, so we're currently on the bus going to UNLV for our orchestra festival. And yeah, this morning we played <laughs> in the quad during casting period because Mr. Cookie thought we were gonna be nervous. Kind of smells like dick on the bus. <laughs> Mr. Cookie thought we were gonna be nervous during festivals, so he made us play in front of the whole school. So yeah, I have my cello right here <laughs> and a little bar. So yeah, I'll check in a little bit later. Better today than you were yesterday. Mm -hmm. Those are words. Chris Villanueva. Those are words of encouragement from Kyle. So there's Mr. Cookie. Hi, Mr. Cookie. Mr. Cookie, wave to the camera. Wave. Take a tell. There's Taryn. There you go. And our school, our orchestra is coming right here on this bus. We're just at UNLV. So I just like to make it a point that me and Kyle both have pop of colors. Mine is my hair and his is his time. So there you go. Okay, so you guys have about an hour. Do not cross the street. Stay on campus. There is a huge place to eat way down there. Can you like direct us to the Yeah. I know where to go. Say hi. Like a lot. Mm, don't mind if I do. Okay, so I got a vanilla iced vanilla macchiato and a bagel with cream cheese, so there you go. Mr. V, vocal solo. Uh, I'm going to audition for musicals. What? Are you serious? Yeah, why not? Dude, you can yeah. be a Dude, my trigger now is dead. My mother is dead. Is that the school Impossible to find. Impossible to find. Hi guys, so it's 1.47 and I just got home from school and festival and stuff like that. Mm, we did pretty good. Um, I thought we were gonna do better, but I guess we did. We I think we were, we might get a superior, which is the best one, or an excellent, which is the second best one. We're not really sure yet, but. Yeah, so we're going to the horses now. So, yeah. Hi, so we are at the horses. And um, it's super hot because I'm wearing freaking leggings. And um, I should be wearing shorts. It's like literally 100 degrees out here. I'm not even over exaggerating right now. And, yeah. So, I'll open it because I don't want to close it. So, therefore, I'll open it. Because the person who opens it doesn't even have to close it. This. Look. If you ever want Hi to guys. To so we, I'm at the park with Sydney and Jordan's over there, and obviously I'm on a swing. So yeah. Hi guys. So sorry if it looks like I just got done crying. It's because I'll tell you the story. So I was so we were sitting at the park because you saw from the clip before this, and I don't know. I haven't went to go touch my freaking belly button ring. Guess what? Wasn't even there. So I guess my belly button ring fell out at some point today. I don't know when. And it could be over this morning. It could have been just like right before I that moment. I'm not really sure. So I was like, oh my god, like, like, cause I have. I just got a pierced like what two months ago or something. I don't know. But um, yeah. So I was like freaking out, and I, so I dro drove my ass home. And, um, I basically, my mom luckily had another pierce, belly button piercing because she sells jewelry on eBay. So, yeah, so basically I had to repierce my whole belly button because it was, like, cl not closed, but you know how, like, it wasn't closed, but you know how, like, it, it, it could, you have to, like, really, like, pop the skin to get it through. And I didn't know, like, how deep to go in with the belly button ring, and I didn't, I had, I had no idea because I hadn't changed a belly button ring before. So I had to do that, and I... Yeah, so I always have, like, problems with my piercings. Like, my second whole ear piercing fell out the second day I got it. And, um, yeah. So I had to do that and go through that. My nose ring always, in New York, it fell out. Oh, my God. And then, like, I didn't couldn't find it, so I had to go to, like, Claire's. And the Claire, like, closest Claire's and was, like, so far away. And we had to take, like, a bus. And then, like, I had to wait to get home to put the... And then it was just a mess. And then I just, thank God I got another one in and it wasn't that bad but yeah so
Hi guys, so um, it is 6.30 about and I'm waiting for Jordan outside um, of his house because we're going to go eat and go to 7-Eleven real quick so I can pull out some money out of the bank, but um, I had to take him home after my belly button, uh, like before, because after, like because my belly button piercing incident, like, I like dropped him off at his house because I was in a really bad mood. Hi guys, so we're at Denny's right now, sitting in a private section. It's special because there are outlets in the section. Special for Jordan's request. We gotta get the manager involved in everything. So, yeah, this is a very familiar Denny's. So, shout out to the homies. The homies. So, we're at the gas station. There's Jordan and Sydney. We gotta do an emergency fill up. So, yeah. Hi guys, so we are at. Red Rock right now, so Sydney's like yelling brand, at right? me. <laughs>